look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. Are you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? Oh, right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. <sighs> Mr. Yang, someone's hurt! Up... up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it! This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Up ahead. Please. Everywhere. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Careful. We've never seen this kind of life... A delicate operation. Miss Tingyun, fall back! Hey, you there! We need your help! Saving beauty from the beast. <laughs> Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Time for a shot. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Miss Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? <laughs> illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. 
Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun, to help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> Your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now, I'll lead the way. <sighs> Those monsters back there. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. <laughs> what? Does he look like a crane to you? I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not built for hard labor. <sighs> she sure knows how to boss people around. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets. Get ready, and watch your backs. Leave it to me! Yeah. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Too late to repent. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! No interest in conflict. Get out of here! Oh, finally! Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way! Oh, my beautiful tail! We 
had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. Don't fret. All Amicassiters know their way around a star skiff. I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Starskiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh, Amy Cassiter! By which I mean, nice speech! That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first, and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. <sighs> I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. That might be a little harsh, but she does put her own interests first. She did the right thing by not trusting us initially. We were an unknown quantity to her. As for the rush, uh, my guess is she's just eager to get us out of her hair and further up the chain. It'll be all right. We're not trying to stand in her way. We have nothing to hide from her. <laughs> we didn't have anything to hide in Bellabog either. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelleron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out, or get something wrong, I just know it! Good idea! 
We can be his cheerleaders in the background. Let's not do that. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking.